Good morning. Thank you for watching KBOI 2 News Midday. I'm Brian Moore and let's get right to your top 11 stories at 11. Fire crews now have the Celebration Park fire contained. The fire burns more than 7,000 acres, about 7,300 at last check. Started just before 1 o'clock on Saturday. At first, crews thought they would be able to contain it to 500 acres. Coming up in a few moments, find out how that fire grew so large so quickly. And lightning sparked two other fires over the weekend. The Hopper Fire north of Midvale has burned about 500 acres. And the Mayfield Fire, a couple of miles west of Mayfield, has blackened close to 75 acres. The BLM says both of these fires are dying down. The Mayfield Fire was expected to be under control by midnight last night. And investigators now say a fire that burned close to 40 acres in Star Saturday was human caused. The deep fire burned about a mile east of Highway 16 for several hours. BLM worked with several local fire departments to contain the quick moving blaze. And it's taken three years, but Concordia University School of Law is now approved by the American Bar Association. Students will be able to take the Idaho Bar Exam in July. A prison committee is recommending Oscar Pistorius be released from prison on August 21st to go under house arrest. Now, if parole, Pistorius would have only served one sixth of his five year sentence for shooting and killing his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp. A decision by the parole board is pending. Pistorius was well known being a world class sprinter despite missing the lower portion of both of his legs. His nickname, Blade Runner. The Idaho Food Bank is kicking off its summer feeding program today. The Picnic in the Park program provides lunches for kids who may be struggling with food insecurity. The Idaho Food Bank says that's nearly 20,000 children in Ada County alone. The Food Bank has been preparing for the event all week long. See, we're doing a lot of prep work with our coolers, our tables, um, tents and supplies, making sure that we have everything that we need for Monday service. The Food Bank is also partnering with 15 AmeriCorps volunteers this summer. The kids say the program is a great way to give back to the community. It's just nice to know that when I come out here and I do all this work and I work from like 9 to 5 that I'm doing something to help someone else. Last year, Picnic in the Park provided more than 53,000 meals. The Food Bank says it expects a similar turnout this year. Heads up drivers, work begins tonight on the connector over Franklin Road. The westbound side will be reduced down to two lanes. That restriction starts at 8 o'clock tonight, wraps up 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. It'll be that way all week long. Then next week, the eastbound lanes will be reduced to two lanes from 10 p.m. until 5 a.m. Also tonight, work begins on the connector over Coal Road. The westbound sides will be reduced to two lanes, 8 tonight till 11 tomorrow morning. But this schedule will only be in effect for three nights, not all week. The eastbound side eventually will be reduced to two lanes later this month. And ship sailing getting underway in Napa today. The Napa Street Division will be working on 17 sections of road between now and the last week of July. First on the list is Midway Road. That runs from Orchard to Karcher. For a complete list of roads that will be under construction this summer, go to KBOI2.com and click on News Links. About 650 riders roared along I-84 from Meridian to Mountain Home for the 6th Annual Patriot Thunder Ride yesterday. Our very own Natalie Hurst and Roland Studham were along for the ride. The group is raising money for Idaho veterans and their families. The reason why I'm here and the reason you're here is because a little thing is called the red, white, and blue. And that means something. And you support it and we support it. Bikers were able to sign up by donating to the Idaho National Guard Family Support Fund and Operation Warm Heart. What a turnout for the very first Walk for Wishes. All right, our very own Kelsey Anderson and Roland Studham, very busy guy this weekend. This was on Saturday, helped out with the first ever Walk for Wishes. More than 300 people showed up to show support and raise money for Idaho children who are suffering from life-threatening medical conditions. Organizers say the money raised this weekend will help grant one kid's wish every month for the rest of the year.